let's talk about why private equity is so interested in the middle market right now. Yes, there's a large group of investors in the marketplace uh, who want to be invested uh, for the long term and see opportunities um, in the middle market where they see some you know, healthy businesses. Um, they've previously been, been invested in some of the bigger brand names where they were put into some very large uh, buyout transactions and in, in returning to the market as part of their overall uh, asset allocation, um, I think they see the middle market as um, having opportunities for, for the next few years to come. Do you find that it's easier to get financing in the middle market deals than maybe in some of the bigger ones? Um, based on what the managers are saying, uh, that is certainly the case. Um, available financing from, from lots of uh, different sources, uh, traditional financial institutions, but this, you know, this whole pools of private capital sitting out there, um, you know, waiting to be invested. In the middle market, are you seeing players that you never saw before? I'm thinking of, of banks, perhaps, in particular. Uh, yes, it's definitely the case. Um, uh, not, not only are you seeing banks, but you're seeing some of the larger firms you know, creating products uh, to invest in the middle market, uh, doing smaller deals, um, creating um, mezzanine debt type products, um, forming business development companies. There's just a lot of activity right now. As deal-making in the middle market heats up, turn to The Deal magazine for our special report. And for ongoing coverage of the middle market, visit The Deal Pipeline. You'll find the latest mid-market deals from M&A to bankruptcy. Check out our updated bankruptcy leak tables to see which law firms are most active by number of cases and by volume. To make sure you won't miss a move, sign up for our new restructuring newsletter, delivered daily. To register, go to thedeal.com slash pipeline slash preferences. It's all on the deal pipeline today.